Join us for the adventure where no obstacle is big enough. Today was a very sad and moody weather. When the sky finally cleared up, we left and our car broken down. Trying to find way down to the beach, we got lost in the fields. Nothing went today as we planned. But it didn't stop us from having the most memorable day out of the whole Azores holiday. Subscribe to my channel and find out how we ended up in paradise. And then in the Azores, um, I was not prepared for the level of beauty that we encountered. Uh, there is a level of beauty that I've only experienced two, maybe three times in my life that sort of leaves you physically sick, like ill. It's so beautiful that your, your body is the weak link. Like you might think that sugar is tasty, but if you were to eat a bag of sugar, you'd probably be sick to your stomach. And I would say this was like so much beauty that it was at an almost pathological level and more than, more than I think my family could really take in. Guys, good morning. We were planning uh, today just to have some rest because the weather is uh, not the best today. We wouldn't be able to see any views in this weather. After full on 8 days, we were actually very happy we can have a little rest. And so the rain was appreciated. So, it's 4 hours later and the weather seemed to be getting much better than it was in the morning. <laughs> you can see a blue sky above me. Um, maybe the day wouldn't be. So we lost it all. Our little garden where we can chill, have some beer, and at the back is a barbecue. And the weather seemed to be getting much better now. We found on a map this hidden gem. We wanted to have a rest day and this beach looked very inviting. We have decided we will check it out. Let's go to the beach! That, that part of the island looks good, but that doesn't, so yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We were on the way to the beach uh, when our car got a little problem, so we're gonna check out what's going on. When we were driving, the car kept losing power and we were afraid we won't be able to make it up the hill. We spoke with the owner, he checked out the car, he said no problem, we can keep driving, so uh, finally we might make it to the beach actually today. It started raining anyway, but yeah. <laughs> the weather is like every 10 minutes different, see what we get. <laughs> Was it even a good idea to be going to the beach today? What do you think? That's okay, before we get there it's gonna be sunny again, I bet. I reckon, I'm positive. Two minutes later, no rain. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, beautiful Azorian weather. And uh, we just stopped at some random uh, burger place. We're gonna have a burger. Yeah. We weren't the only people who tried to make some sense of this day. We were pleased to see another rain enthusiasts. We were almost reaching final destination and we couldn't see around anything. When we realized then the map was a little bit confusing. So apparently uh, there is the beach, <laughs> so uh, we found some walk, we will try to find it. It's a beautiful weather for a uh, swim. Yay, picnic! 
<laughs> oh god, this is so much fun. I hope you're going the right way, I don't know. Mm -hmm. How did we supposed to know there were no signs? That didn't work out. <laughs> Apparently the beach is on the other side. So we'll try to find. I don't know where we are, but it's so ridiculously pretty here. <laughs> Kind of filling a hole here. Mikey's staying up there having a picnic. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have a little uh, walk down, discover what's there. That's it. I am walking back. <laughs> Soaked in a creek. <laughs> And there is just nothing to be seen. Like he's having a chippies. Oh, this is great. Thank you, Azores, for the experience. <laughs> we are making a little cocktail in the middle of uh, Azores. It's a great chill out here. <laughs> Love it. Mm, yes, please. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, there's a pieces of coconut in it. Making most of it here. <laughs> Didn't make it to the beach, but made it to this incredible, amazing spot. Um, so beautiful. I have no words. Just uh, fields and flowers and rocks and the fog is magical. And we're just chilling. Our trip to the beach felt to be impossible. Sometimes things in life doesn't meant to be. And it's okay. As a matter of fact, this picnic was the most memorable moment out of the whole trip in the Azores. But what next? Now let's head back. <laughs> the beach didn't work out, but we still had good fun. Taking a moment of appreciation. This place was truly magical. I have never seen anything like this before. The Azores stole my heart once again. On the way back we found small but significant village called Laes das Flores. We discovered majestic church called Igreja de Nossa Senhora do Rosario. In 1515 Laes was elevated to the status of town. Sometimes in the 16th century the hermitage of Espírito Santo, which was located near the port, was moved to the town, owning to a similar temple in the port. The church seemed to be open, let's have a look inside. In the middle of 19th century, the church was renovated, and the indoors seemed to be very well decorated. Later we discovered a hidden waterfall right next door. It was time to keep going. On the way back, we fueled up and... Suddenly, we got the sun again. Yoo we are home, guys. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Give me thumbs up. 
like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> we will jump on a plane and end up in Island Fayal. After delicious lunch we will check the harbor and get into our fancy accommodation. Discovering Pico, the highest mountain of Portugal from our window. Visiting famous cafe and discovering the beauty of this city. We ended up having also a cultural experience. Not every day at the Azores is perfect. But if you don't lose hope and push through difficulties, you might experience the best things life has to offer. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye!